Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Mr. Coffee 5 Cup Mini Brew Programmable Coffee Maker. So is your coffee maker taking a long time to brew your coffee? It should take a one minute per cup. So this should take about five to six minutes to brew your full pot of coffee. That might be a sign that it's time to descale. Does your coffee not taste as good as it used to? And is your coffee not as hot as it used to be? Those are all signs that it's time to descale your coffee maker. We're gonna be using distilled white vinegar. I can buy this whole jug for a buck 50 at Walmart and it's 64 fluid ounces. You should descale your coffee maker at least once every two to six months, depending on how hard your water is. If you have really hard water, I would do it every two months. So let's go over what we're gonna be descaling. Here I've got a, coffee, a Cuisinart coffee maker. All coffee, I mean, most of these standard coffee makers are made about the same. I've cut several of them open and you'd be surprised how common they are between the two. But you've got a water reservoir and at the bottom of the water reservoir, the water, you've got this heating element. It's made out of aluminum. I cut the heating element open and we can see that if you, mineral deposits will build up inside your heating element and it will, it will restrict the flow of water and it won't allow the heating element to heat the water properly. So your water comes in it gets superheated, then it gets sent up here to this tube. And this, if you follow this tube, it goes up and eventually comes out the brew head onto into the coffee grounds. So this coffee maker, even though I don't, I haven't cut it open, you've got your water reservoir, and then the water is gonna come down. There's a heating element underneath this inside there and that's what we're going to be descaling the, the heating element underneath here that shoots the water back up out the brew head so before we begin we do have to have our brew basket in here's your brew basket now i'm not going to put a filter in and we're not going to put any coffee in but make sure you've got it in and it's in properly and the brew head is over here's your coffee pot you got to make sure it's empty we do have to have the lid on because the lid is what pushes up that plunger in the bottom of the brew basket. Okay, so I've got my coffee carafe. I'm gonna fill it up to the two cup mark with pure vinegar, and then from the two to the four, I'm gonna fill it with water. So again, this is, this is my pure vinegar. I'm gonna pour it in, fully concentrated, up to the two cup mark. So there it is, up to the two cup mark. Now I'm gonna go fill this up to the four cup mark with just fresh water from, the, from my uh, sink. Okay, so I've got my coffee pot filled up to the four cup mark. It's a one to one ratio. 50% vinegar, 50% water. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this back right where the water goes. There I've got my water and vinegar in, in the water reservoir. I'm gonna put this Make sure I close the lid, and I'm simply gonna do a brew now. Press the brew now button. Now we're gonna keep an eye on this. From start to finish, this is gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes, but I wanna stop it. So it's gonna start brewing here in just a minute, and I'm gonna stop it. When it gets to the two cup mark, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna press this brew now button to stop it. We wanna let that heating element soak. So also be aware when you're brewing vinegar through a coffee maker, it does give off kind of an odor vinegar when it's when it's running through a coffee maker it does kind of stink so you want you may want to make sure you've got some ventilation and we can keep an eye on what's going on up here again that water and vinegar it's just brewing through here you may get some white um, mineral deposits in this filter basket that's okay now vinegar doesn't really clean if you've got really bad brown coffee stains uh, vinegar doesn't clean the brown coffee stains off there's a clearly coffee made by URNX on Amazon. I'll put a link in that does a really good job of cleaning that. So it's been about a minute and a half. We're almost to the two cup mark. Miss Fiona is taking a nap while I'm doing my descaling. Okay, so we're right at the two cup mark. I'm gonna come up here and press the brew now button. That LED light goes away and this is gonna stop brewing. So we want to let this soak anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how dirty your coffee maker is on the inside. 
If you've been keeping up on it, 10 minutes is fine. If you haven't done it for a while, I'd let it soak for 30 minutes. What that's gonna do is, see how I still got, I still got water and vinegar in my reservoir? And if you look over here on this one, that means we've got the water and vinegar soaking in this heating element right now. And it's gonna cool down, and then when we turn it back on, it's gonna heat back up, and that could break loose some more of that uh, mineral deposits. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm simply gonna come up here and finish the brew. I'm gonna press the brew now button. That LED light's gonna come on. We can see it's on. And it's gonna finish the brew now. That's gonna take about another two minutes. Okay, so we're up to the four cup mark. We're finished brewing the water and the vinegar. I'm simply gonna turn it off now. Press that. This LED light should turn off and now the coffee maker is gonna cool down. I've got my water and vinegar in here. I'm gonna go dump this down the sink. Okay, so I, I emptied the water and vinegar. I washed this out with soap and water. And then you're gonna to wanna to do the same. So be careful, this can be hot. But you're gonna to wanna to wash this with soap and water too. Again, you might see some little white mineral deposits down there, wash all those out. And you might've had some white mineral deposits in the bottom of your coffee maker. That's normal. That's just the cleaning inside the heating element. Okay, so we're done with the vinegar. Now we're gonna do fresh water rinses. I washed this out with soap and water and I filled it up to the five cup mark with just fresh water. I'm gonna dump that in the back. Make sure again you got your brew basket in. Again, this is just fresh water now. Close your lid and hit the brew now button. This will take about five to six minutes to run that water through. So what we're doing here is we're flushing out the inside of it to get rid of that vinegar. Vinegar does leave kind of a taste and smell inside your coffee maker. So we need, this is called a fresh water rinse. And we're gonna do this about three times. After each time, we're gonna empty this, fill this up with just cold tap water, pour it in the back, and start the brew over again. Each time you gotta stop it and start it. So when, it's, when it finishes up to here, I'm gonna press the stop button. I'm gonna empty that, fill it up with water, pour it in the back, and do another brew. Now you may have to, if your coffee maker has not been descaled for a while, you may have to descale it again to get it back up to the five, one cup every minute and get it up to about the 170, 175 degree temperature that it brews coffee at. And after it's all said and done, if you still have a little bit of vinegar taste, I typically three times, three fresh water rinses does it for me, but you may still taste a little bit of the water and vinegar. If you do, just run another fresh water rinse through it. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.